Hello YouTube, this is Frugal. Now, long-time viewers of this channel know that I've recently started to look at Prepared from Lockheed Martin. Part of the reason for that is obviously I've got a pretty good relationship with SciTech, and SciTech asked me to take a look at uh, their support for their controllers within Prepared. SciTech are partnering with Lockheed, and if you go to Lockheed's Prepared website, you'll see SciTech everywhere. They're very, very keen on, on seeing that platform succeed, and more importantly, seeing their peripherals work within that platform. Now, one of the sticking points for a lot of people, including me, is their panels. SciTech have a bunch of really cool panels that you can get, which uh, you can get a radio panel, for example, to tune your radios with a hardware device. I have the switch panel, which lets me put my gear up, gear down, control the, the lights and the power systems and all that kind of stuff from a physical hardware switch box. It doesn't work yet in Prepared. Now, SciTech are updating their drivers to automatically support Prepared, but until they do, there's actually a very easy fix to make it work. There was two easy fixes, in fact. If you have FSX, when you install the SciTech panel drivers, what happens is they go into a directory called, usually C, Program Files x86, and if you scroll down there, you'll normally see a SciTech directory. There it is. And if we go in there, you can see ProFlight Panels. So the actual software which powers those panels working with FSX gets installed into there. So all you need to do is modify Prepared a little bit, and it's actually very easy. Here's Windows Explorer. Go up to the top here, Choose your user account, obviously mine's Pete, and find the app data directory. Now, if you can't see the app data directory, notice it's kind of gray on mine, you need to turn on show hidden files and folders. Just fire up the start menu down here, type in the word hidden, and you'll see here an option come up under control panel for show hidden files and folders. Click on that and make sure this box right here, show hidden files, folders, and drives is checked. As long as that's checked, you'll see slightly grayed out icons representing hidden files and folders on your hard disk. So there's that data. We'll go in there, go into roaming, scroll on down to Microsoft Games, uh, if I can find it, sorry, Microsoft here, and then FSX, not Microsoft Games, just Microsoft and FSX. There's a file in here called exe, which is of type XML document. Just open that up. So right click it and say edit, and that will usually fire up notepad. And here we are. You'll see at the bottom here, this, this file actually lists add-ons which need to be loaded with FSX. And at the bottom here, you can see launch add-on, SciTech Panels plugin for FSX. Disabled? No, it's not disabled. And that's where it runs from. All we need to do is just copy this. So select it with your mouse, go to Edit, click on Copy. That's now copied. Next thing you need to do, same as we did with FSX, you need to do with Prepared. So go to your, your folder. So there's Pete right there. We'll go in there, go to App Data. Now, instead of Microsoft within roaming, you're going to find Lockheed. There's Lockheed Martin. There's Prepared. And look at that. There's a file in there called XE, and it's an XML document. I'm going to click on Edit. Simply go all the way down to the bottom here, hit a new line, and then just do Edit, Paste. That's all there is to it. Next time you run up Prepared, your panels will work magically as if they are natively supported for Lockheed's Prepared, which they will be very soon anyway. Now, if you do not have FSX installed, but you want the SciTech panels to work within Prepared, the alternate workaround is equally simple, but it's going to cost you a bit of money. What we have is there is a third-party add-on called a Prepared Migration Tool, this one. If you run that, what that migration tool does is it basically makes Prepared look just like FSX. So once you've installed this and configured this tool, all you need to do is click on Enable. It says Enabling Virtual FSX, like so. Now all you need to do is download the SciTech panel drivers from SciTech's site and just run the installer. As far as the installer is concerned, it has, you have FSX installed even though you don't. And it will install everything that it needs to in the right places and update that XEXML file that I just showed you. Simple as that. Hope that was useful. Happy flying. I'll see you all soon.